Ever wonder how sound waves in the air can get into your computer and how your computer can put them back out into the air? Let's take a look. Microphones and speakers. If you've ever played a live show, done a recording session, or chatted with your mom on Skype, you've used them. But do you know what actually happens between your voice entering that strange little contraption on one end and coming out the speakers on the other? We're going to show you in this video. Transduction is the process of turning acoustic sound pressure into electrical signals, like a mic does, and also turning electrical signals back into acoustic sound, what a speaker does. Think about it this way. Our ears interpret the movement of air molecules caused by our voices. We communicate using acoustic sound. Electrical devices, such as audio amplifiers, mixers, and effects units, communicate using electrical signals. This means we need a way to translate acoustic energy into electrical energy, and to translate electrical energy back into acoustic energy. We need translators. Microphones and speakers serve as these translators, and this translation process is called transduction. But how do microphones and speakers actually translate these types of energy, or transduce? Let's dissect one basic type of microphone, moving coil, and find out. Beneath the capsule cover, we can see the diaphragm. Acoustic energy first hits this part of the microphone. This energy vibrates the diaphragm. The diaphragm is attached to two coils of wire, each of which sits suspended in a magnetic field. When the diaphragm vibrates, the coils move within the field. This movement disrupts the magnetic field, generating a signal whose voltage is directly related to the level of sound pressure hitting the microphone. This is how a moving coil microphone transduces. Other types of microphones use different methods of transduction, but that's beyond our scope in this video. It's really a lot simpler than it sounds. This is a microphone we built. We used only a magnet, a bolt and some washers, some enamel coated wire, a straw, and a plastic cup and lid. The wire is wrapped around the straw to create a coil like the one in a real microphone. Sound vibrates the lid, which acts as the diaphragm. Because it's attached to the straw, this vibration of the diaphragm moves the coil. The coil is suspended in the center of a ring-shaped magnet, therefore its movement generates an electrical signal throughout the coil. The signal can be connected to an amplifier and speaker, and the sound picked up by the cup microphone will be reproduced by the speaker. If you want to build a cup microphone yourself, check out our video that walks you through the process. Just like microphones convert acoustic energy to electrical energy, speakers convert those electrical signals back into acoustic sound. Instead of acoustic pressure moving a diaphragm and coil, electrical signals cause the coil to move within the magnetic field. The coil vibrates the diaphragm, or speaker cone, which moves air molecules, generating acoustic sound pressure. You've seen this process in action if you've ever stood in front of a speaker while a rap song's playing. Next to the speaker is an oscilloscope, which allows us to see the level of the electrical signal over time as it's going to the speaker. As you can see, whenever there's a big change in level on the oscilloscope, the speaker cone moves. This is how speakers transduce. Hopefully we've demystified the way speakers and microphones work in this video. For more information on any of the topics discussed here, check out the links on this page.